a very good morning students i am sat patel welcome you to study from home today i am going to explain you chapter number 5 major domains of the earth class 6 subject geography as we have read in the first chapter the earth is only planet which has a life right um uh, in a, our solar system earth is called unique planet why because it has a blanket of layer uh, which is called atmosphere it has a 71% of water right uh, it has a life is possible only on earth that's why it is called unique planet human being can live here because of life sustaining elements of land water air are present on the earth the surface of the earth is a complex zone right it is not simple complex means uh different different uh things are different different things are there each things are different from each other that is called complex which three main components of environment meet overlap and interact the solid portion of the earth on which we live is called lithosphere the gaseous layer that surround the earth is the atmosphere where oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide and other gases are found water cover a very big area maybe 71% of earth of the earth surface and this are called hydrosphere so we have a three main elements which are very uh, useful for a possible of life on earth that is called atmosphere lithosphere and hydrosphere right let me tell you in short lithosphere is a solid uh, layer so of land okay where we live okay where we construct building okay where the river flow where we where we conduct an agriculture activity where we you know develop road that atmosphere consists of oxygen nitrogen and carbon dioxide right oxygen is very useful for <coughs> living organism hydrosphere okay water okay water bodies that is also very important for uh, trees animals and human right not only human use water Uh, for a consumption but water use in agriculture industrial okay area the lithosphere the solid portion of the earth is called lithosphere it comprises the rocks of the earth crust and thin layer of the of soil that contain nutrient element which sustain organism there are two main division of the earth surface okay. the large landmass are known as a continent and the huge water bodies are called basins okay all the oceans of the world are connected with one another right let me uh, show you the photograph can you see uh, this photograph these are water bodies these are a uh, continent okay we have a uh, seven major continent north america south america right this is our asia okay and uh, this is water bodies the level of uh, sea water remain the same everywhere elevation of the land is measured from level of sea which is taken as zero okay means uh, wherever you go the level of ocean water remain same but the level of land may be up from the sea level okay very high or the level with sea okay the highest mount mountain peak mount everest which is 8848 meters above the sea level the greatest depth 11022 meters is recorded at marina trench okay so highest highest uh, mountain is mount everest and deepest 
डेप डिपेस्ट सी लेवल इज मरियाना ट्रेंच इन अ पैसिफिक ओशियन राइट नाउ एज आई टॉक दैट मास ऑफ लैंड ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड कंटिनेंट अ ह्यूज मास ऑफ लैंड विच इज नॉन एज अ कंटिनेंट ओके लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग a small piece of land which is surrounded by water is called island and mass huge mass of land is considered as a continent australia is also continent let me show you in picture this is australia we can uh, con- uh, we considered australia as a continent because it's not a small okay piece of land it's not a small piece of land it is a huge mass of land that's why we considered australia as a o continent student we have a uh, seven continent first is asia second is europe third is africa fourth is north america fifth is south america australia antarctica right uh these are separated by large water bodies the seven continents are separated by large water bodies this continents are asia europe as i told you right now asia is the largest continent it cover about 1/3 of the total land area of the earth this is asia okay yellow colored asia is in yellow colored right the continent lies in the eastern hemisphere the tropic of cancer passes through this continent asia is separated from europe by ural mountain on the west can you see ural mountain so ural mountain divide okay europe and asia the combined land masses of europe and asia is called eurasia europe plus asia means eurasia now come to the europe this is europe okay europe is much smaller than asia the continent lies to the west of asia the arctic circle passes through it it is bounded by water bodies on three side okay let me show. see you can see it is covered by water on three side as well as uh, as well as arctic ocean right it's surrounded by arctic ocean it is also closest to the arctic circle that's why uh, the climatic condition of europe is cool okay climatic condition of europe is cold now africa 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 is also surrounded by water bodies okay uh three side right and africa is second largest continent after asia the equator or zero latitude run almost through the middle of the continent right a large part of africa lies in the northern hemisphere it is the only continent through which the tropic of cancer the equator and tropic of capricorn means all this three imaginary line, imaginary line passes through africa c second third one is tropic of cancer second is equator and third is tropic of capricorn all this three imaginary line passes through africa the sahara desert the world's largest hot desert is located in africa the continent is bounded on all side by ocean and sea
right this three side end as well as this upper part is also bounded by water bodies but we can't call it as a island because it's a huge land of mass right now the world's large longest river the nile flows through africa notice where the, okay the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn passes in map of africa as i show in this uh, picture now north america is the third largest continent of the world it is linked to the south america by a very narrow strip of a north america is the third largest continent of the world it is linked to south america by very narrow strip of a land called isthmus of panama the continent lies completely north and west hemisphere three oceans surround this continent right this is uh north america okay and this is narrow strip istham isthmus okay so this north america is connected through south america through istham isthmus okay south america lies mostly in southern hemisphere which to which two oceans surrounded uh, by surrounded by two oceans the andes the world's longest mountain range run through its length from north to south south america has a world's largest river the amazon okay amazon somewhere here okay and amazon form a uh, world's largest jungle that is called amazon jungle okay you will find uh, different different uh, animal and different different species right now australia is the smallest continent that lies entirely in a southern hemisphere it is surrounded on all side by ocean and sea it is called island continent right as i told you that it is also uh, it is also uh, quite big quite large in a mass uh, land area antarctica completely in southern hemisphere is a huge continent the south pole lies almost at the center of this continent as it located in southern polar region it permanently covered with thick ice sheet there are no permanent human settlements many countries have research station in antarctica india also has a research station there there these are named as a maitri and daksin gango tree right so student this is all about a uh, seven continent as well as this is all about today right i'll explain you more in next class thank you